The Bitter End Yacht Club Pro-Am Regatta 2012. Sponsored by McLaren and brought to you by Outside Television. It's Outside Television Day here at the Bitter End Pro-Am sponsored by McLaren and we're in the picturesque British Virgin Islands. What better place for a sailing event with the stars? From America's Cup sailors to Olympians to world champions, they're all here to teach the guests to sail like a pro. Once afloat, the coaches do their thing and the guests eat up every word. Sail with four, we're going to get into a situation where we're going to have a starboard trimmer, a port trimmer, a main sheet trimmer, and then a downwind uh, wing and wing expert. I tell you what, I'm so impressed by like, the, the enthusiasm of everybody. The skill levels are so broad, and yet everybody's just as keen to be out doing it. It's like, that's my favorite part about being here. It's very cool. That looks like there's a lot of tension and pointing towards the back of the boat. Let's go ahead and take the main on Marlis, and we'll go right up close haul. So, Amy, you're going to be putting another wrap on that winch. The start's about to begin, and tensions are high. The guys right there that really know what they're doing. And they're off. The first leg is sailed directly into the wind, so the team spread across the course to find the best breeze. All right, y'all. We're going to stand by to tack here, probably go another five lengths. OK, everybody come over to the other side. At the windward mark, Olympian Andrew Campbell fouls Taylor Canfield, the winner okay, of the okay. Bermuda Gold Cup. All right, he's in vain. He's in vain. And then it's downwind to the finish line. The next day was a scheduled lay day, a chance for all the guests and sailors to take some time to explore all the Bitter End has to offer, from water sports to spa treatments to off-island excursions. For those who felt adventurous, it was a trip through the Sir Francis Drake Channel to Norman Island for some world-class snorkeling off the very same caves where pirate treasure is supposedly still hidden. Who could pass up cocktails aboard the floating bar, the Willie T? Then it was back to the bitter end to rest up, because tomorrow the racing begins again. 